Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Martial Arts of Sales. Believe this or not, I'm sitting in my bed. I was doing some reading, doing some research, and meditating at the same time. And I said, you know what? I want to expand on the last video that I did called the seven fundamental steps or ingredients in becoming a dynamic and world-class salesman. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a seven-part series explaining each step, why you need to learn it, how to learn it, and the value in learning each step in becoming a dynamic salesman and a world-class salesman. Now for the introduction. Hello everybody, welcome to the Martial Arts of Sales. I'm in my bedroom right now. And, um, you know, I was doing some thinking, some meditating and some reading. And I want to expand on the previous video I did. two videos ago, about three or four days ago, called The Seven Fundamental Steps in Becoming a Dynamic and World-Class Salesman. So what I'm going to do is a seven-part series. I'm going to take each step all seven steps and I'm going to expand on them so that I could break it down and you could get more meat out of this bone. Okay. So part number one is, and I'm looking at my notes. So bear with me guys. Part number one is building the right sales foundation. That's very broad. Okay. Now there's a lot that goes into becoming a professional salesman. And to stay on top, just like any other sport, any other athlete, you got to keep pressing. You got to keep learning. You have to want to continue to make daily improvements, daily changes. I know I do it every day. I may not have very sophisticated words, but I use the small words to give a lot of power and a lot of meaning to it. So it's not always what you say or the words you use. It's how you use those words. That's very important. So, but the first thing you need to do, just like in any other sport, any other business, in sales is no different. You must have and build a really strong sales foundation. Now, when you start to look at all of the top salespeople in the world, no matter what profession they're in, whether it's real estate, whether it's golf, whether it's basketball, no matter what the profession, musicians, actors, they have at least these seven ingredients or qualities or habits. They have it all. That's what it takes to become a world-class athlete a world-class musician, a world-class salesman, boxers. So let's dig into this, okay? Uh, and I need to put on my glasses. I'm going to be taking them off and putting them on occasionally because I can't see without my glasses. <laughs> so bear with me. Okay, so there's about seven steps to part number one, okay? So I'm going to go into that, okay? The first one that's the most important one is you must build the right mindset and the right attitude. Why is that important? Because everything starts with your mind. Selling is a mind game. Selling is a mindset. It's an attitude, right? Because it's not a physical thing, even though you need to be healthy, but it's not physical. It's all mental. Dealing with problems, dealing with objections, dealing with certain type of customer, 
you know, not being prepared for the right rebuttals and things like that. So it takes a certain mindset and a certain attitude. And what you allow to enter your mind becomes a thought. That thought eventually becomes an action or what I call an attitude. Good, bad, or different. It's the same. So you got to have the right mindset and the right attitude in building a strong sales foundation. The second one that you need to learn is you got to create daily habits. Daily habits are important. For example, when you wake up in the morning, what's the first thing you think about? What's the first thing you do? For me personally, for years, the first thing I do when I get out of bed is I fix my bed. It sounds crazy, right? But you get, you, you're moving forward. You accomplish something. Also, what you allow in your mind when you get up in the morning. If you listen to a certain song or certain music or listen to certain news or whatever. I don't watch TV, so it doesn't matter. But the point is, the minute you get out of bed, it's going to determine the habits you have or the attitude you have or the mindset you're going to have. That's daily habits. You know, is your, is your, do you have a positive attitude or negative attitude? That's a habit. Is, you know, attitude's contagious, is yours worth catching? That's a habit. So you got to think about the daily habits that you do every single day is going to determine your mindset and your attitude. Just think about that. Okay, number three is discipline. Most salespeople are not disciplined. They get a certain level and they think that shit don't stink. They think they're they're the man or they don't think they need to learn. For me as a salesperson, when I was in Las Vegas, I've been to a few call centers. I was a top salesperson, maybe not in many sales, but I always saw the highest ticket items. So my volume was always higher than somebody who did 10 sales. But a lot of these guys were not salespeople. They're telemarketers that get a script. They got bad habits. And they don't really know how to sell. They just know how to lie. But being a good salesman or professional salesman takes a lot of discipline. Why? Because you're going to run into a lot of negativity. You're going to run into a lot of objections. You're going to run into a lot of scenarios that there are problems that you need to be able to take yourself out of it, be disciplined enough to solve the problem. And your habits and your daily habits are going to determine how disciplined you are or not. So ask yourself that question. Am I disciplined? And what kind of disciplines do I have? So I want you to think about that. And then the other one is you build confidence. Confidence is a habit. Confidence is every day you're accomplishing something, right? It's called a compound effect. How is your confidence in your sales technique? How is your confidence in delivering your pitch? How is your confidence in your training? How is your confidence in your mindset, in your attitude, in your conviction? All of that builds confidence. But first it starts with the mindset, with the right attitude. You have to think about that. And that goes for any profession. But sales, to me, is the best profession in the world. You know? Uh, then the, the other one is daily training. What kind of training do you do every day? Are you at a level where you think you don't need to cold call or teach cold calling? Do you think you don't need to be a storyteller? Well, if you think that, then you'll never be a world-class salesman. And you'll never be a dynamic salesperson in my personal view. You got to love the art of cold calling. Cold calling builds that strong foundation it builds all the other ingredients and enhances it. Being a storyteller starts with learning cold calling. No one loves to do it, but it's one of the most important things you need to learn. So how is your daily training? Are you making those phone calls? You know, are you doing the right follow calls? Are you role playing? You know, are you doing the things that got you to whatever level you're at right now? For me, I'll never give up cold calling. And I've been selling for over 30 years. And I don't really need to do it. But I know what it means. It's like Michael Jordan or 
LeBron James or Kobe Bryant or any of these athletes taking free throw shots for granted and not practicing it. Not practicing their jump shot because they already know how to do it. That's crazy. My jump shot, my layup, my dunk is cold cone. Make it yours. Now, conviction. You got to have conviction. And that all comes with confidence. That all comes with the mindset, the right attitude. This all interact. You have to have conviction and be convinced, number one, that you're good at what you do. Number two, that you have value to offer. Number three, that what you're offering solves problems and that the customer needs it or wants it. You got to have that. If you don't believe in what you sell and you don't believe that you're a good salesman, then you'll never be, you never convince anybody. Yeah, you'll get a few sales here and there, but you'll never reach the pinnacle of being a professional top salesperson. It's a greatest feeling. I consider myself a professional salesperson. I consider myself a world-class salesman. I may not be the wealthiest guy, the, most, the salesman with the most money. I'm okay with that. I've been there. I've done that. That's not my motivation. But I know my mindset is a professional, world-class salesman. I feel I am a dynamic storyteller when I'm on the phone. So you got to have conviction. This other one is character. Well, how's your character as a salesperson? That's deep. Because remember, you're a customer just like everyone else. Do you want to buy from somebody who lies to you? Who deceives you? Who doesn't tell you the way it is? That's a character. Is your character flawed as a salesperson? If it is, what do you got to do to fix it? Because at the end, your character will help you be established for a long time. Because people want to deal with people that they can trust, right? Is that you? That all comes down to character. Because when the smoke clears, everything in life is about building your character. Think about that. That's part of the foundation. Without the right sales foundation, you cannot grow into a dynamic salesperson. You cannot grow into a world-class salesman. Now, you can grow into con artists because there's a lot of big con artists out there because they learn the techniques, but they apply it for the wrong reasons. That's bad character. Think about that, guys. The next one and the final one is become and stay. Become and stay a student of your profession. It's like a doctor. You gotta always learn new medicine, new things to, to help your, 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 your patients, right? You gotta continue every single day to become a student. When I became a black belt martial arts, my teacher told me, now you're a white belt again. I said, what are you talking about? I worked so hard to become a black belt. Yes, what that means is now you have power. How you use it and the way you stay humble and you stay sharp is you actually teach what you learn. Because your students will teach you more as well. So you got to continue. No matter what level you are. Study your craft. Learn other people that are better than you. Learn what you can get out of. There's a lot of salespeople out there that I will not go to. Because I believe they don't teach right. But always make sure that you are studying your profession. It's just like any other profession. Whether it's basketball, football, baseball, hockey, uh, boxing, UFC, I don't like fighting anymore, but I'm just giving you some analogies to relate with. Being a husband and a wife, all of that, you got to work on your craft every single day. Doing this video, posting, and con you know, and building content keeps me sharp. My clients, speaking with clients every single day. Learning their mindset, learning their attitude, their business keeps me sharp. It helps me become a better professional salesperson to be helpful to them and other customers that I will be running into or, or taking on as customers. So at the end, you got to continue to grow in your profession. These are the basic fundamentals 
Part number one, building a strong sales foundation. Also, I want to add another one is sales techniques, which is going to be part two of the seven part series. But you got to know sales techniques as well. Does that make sense? So just to recap, uh, part number one, excuse me, part number one is building the right sales foundation. First thing you got to do is build the right mindset and attitude. Uh, you got to have good daily habits. Uh, you got to be disciplined, not only, you know, uh, mentally, physically, but emotionally as well. Uh, you got to have confidence in what you do. And that comes with how you train. Uh, you got to have daily training. You got to still cold call. If you're not cold calling personally, you got to teach cold calling. You got to role play. You got to continue to learn storytelling. Uh, you got to have conviction that comes with experience, that comes with successes and failures and, and overcoming a lot of things. Uh, build the right character as a salesperson. That's important. And uh, the last one is study your profession every single day. I love what I do and it never gets boring. And I continue to grow and learn more and more about myself and about my profession. And you know what? I'm nowhere near where I could be. And that's my attitude. That's my mindset. And I go through struggles. Trust me on that. But I also know I go back to basics and learn from it. For example, this coronavirus, it allowed me to dig into my business model, my sales strategies, my sales process. I came up with this topic and say, I want to expand on it. Why? So I could make the improvements to become better and so that I could be more valuable, more helpful to you out there. Does that make sense? So listen, I hope this has been helpful. I want to thank you for being part of the martial arts of sales. If you're watching this on YouTube for the first time, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button below. If you like the video, do share with others and also share your comments. I love to hear from you. So till we meet again, I want to thank you again for being part of the martial arts of sales. My name is Paul Cruz. Have a great evening. Bye.